another day, another 50 loads to move. Let's do this. Who are you even talking to? I can think out loud. Last set of cars. So, we're waiting for someone? I don't think it's just someone. Busy day? Yeah, I didn't even know they had this many new employees. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I'll see you later. Anyone else? I think Dan is coming through now. More cold loads, I'm guessing. Hey Ben, do you need a hand with the hoppers? Nah, I wouldn't want you to get those new cars dirty. It's a promotional train. I guess the trainmaster felt it was only fair that we all had a set of passenger cars for our own railroad. Is it now? Okay. Well, I don't want you to hold me up. I guess I'm following you. All right, sure thing. What are these cars made of? Lead? Same cars as always. Listen, we're going to have to stop at this siding. Another train we have to wait for. Why do they even call this a siding? It's only long enough for about a dozen cars. Well, about that. They named it after me, didn't they? Okay. So long we're waiting for something important. I got sidetracked for Frank! Just once, I'd like to get priority on a passenger train. It can't be just I'm weak and underpowered. There's only a thing to do. Hey Frank, didn't you say there was a movie about fast British tank engine? You mean Titfield Thunderbolt? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. I'd like to watch it. Yeah, my crew can put its reel in here in about five minutes. Prepare to be amazed. The day my crew installed a speaker and a projector system on me was one of the greatest ever. Wow, I knew a tank engine could perform like that. How do you mean? I know now what exactly I'm gonna do. What were you thinking trying to pull this long passenger train? You're just a small switch engine. 
I have seen you and every other engine pulling those passenger trains. I want to pull passenger trains just like the British tank engines do. British tank it? Wait. Have you been watching Titfield Thunderbolt again? <laughs> well, I only watch it like 50 times. I know exactly what I need to do. Oh, no. Well, whatever you say, how do you want to do that? What else? A training montage! I hope I don't break the other escalator. Hey, Annie. Ben, is this about pulling passenger trains? How did you know? You see me training all week. Well, I'll just ask you this once. Sure, it's fine. I still owe you for the whole sunset thing. Just couple on. Oh, okay. But you're trailing. I have to keep an eye on the line after all. Fair enough. This is fun! Do you always go this fast? Ben, I'm only doing 25 miles per hour. Can you go any faster? I'm not exactly designed for these rates. I'm just here to handle five coaches and that's it. Besides, it's not all that far between locations. Well, how about I lead at least? Maybe that will be more fun. Sorry, you're too tall. You'd have to try someone who can see over you. Morning, Annie. And Ben. Interesting to see you on the commuter train. Hello, Nathan. Do you need any help on the limit? How heavy do you think this is? He doesn't. He just wants to feel like he can lead a passenger train. I want to take charge just like the British tank engines do. British trains? Oh, Frank was showing you Titfield Thunderbolt again, wasn't he? Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Can I lead? I don't see why not, but hurry. This is nice, Nathan. I can actually feel the wind on my smoke box. Glad you're enjoying it. Yep. So, when do you hit the track speed? What? When you put the throttle to the roof. Something like real speed. Um, right. Ben, can you see the track profile here? This is track speed. This run isn't actually timetabled. It's a charter trip we're running for passengers to enjoy the ambience of the Rockies. You mean, you don't go any faster? Not me. There's only one engine here who's reckless enough to break the limit. Ben? On the limited? And besides that, 
Craig would never let you join him on the San Juan Limited. He knows he's too fast for you to handle. Well, I've been working out. I need the ultimate test. And what makes you think I have to ask? Oh, no. This is a bad idea. Look, I only want to experience speed for a bit. Just uncouple me when we hit 50. Okay, but I'm whistling the instant something goes wrong. I still can't believe sneaking onto this train is your idea. Admit it, you've wanted to do this too. Fair enough. Good couple, 36 Here we go. After all, this is just a quick trip down to San Juan West. Wait, this is the joint line. You mean the Burlington Connection? How fast can it go on this line? I don't know. We never run here. Man, this train feels heavier today. What are these passengers carrying? What? Well, all those workouts trained me well. I'm sure I can handle any speed. I don't know what will happen. Craig will break down, as usual and I will have to lead these stranded passengers back on my own. Are you kidding me? Are you starting to feel the strain? You're definitely leaking. I think we need to cut off now. It won't uncouple. The pin is not budging. Oh no. I'm whistling now. He's not stopping. I guess I have to run it out. That's not good. It hurts! Which rod was it? I'm reversing now. No! We can't damage these cars! Train Master will kill me! This will destroy you first! Oh, this was a bad idea! Oh. This will never happen to Rocky! Good luck here to 3254. Head in, 3254. Traffic problems on the rear end. Our helper is falling apart, and the first class passengers are concerned about the engineer. They can see panicking. Over. Wait, what do you mean, helper? Who could possibly be on the rear of this train? Pulling a stunt like that! Do you know how much damage you've done to yourself? With all due respect, Train Master, I'm in so much pain to understand it. Do you even know how dangerous it is coming onto this line? Just be glad it's not October. How long do you think I'll be needing repairs? Months at best. And if I ever see any of you sneaking onto other trains like that again, 
I will personally send you to some backwoods tourist railroad in Pennsylvania. <gasps> no! no! Anything, Anything but, but that! that! So, what's going to happen to Ben? The damage is extensive. The good news is, he will run again. The bad news is, he'll be out for months. So we'll have everyone pitch in and switch out their own trains. We may have to even get some outside help. So don't be upset when Diesel starts showing up. We're not switching over yet, are we? No, just in a pinch. Hopefully we'll be able to go back to our all steam all the time motto. As for you, Ben, for the last time, tell me what compelled you to sneak onto the San Juan Limited. <sighs> okay. I wanted to pull the San Juan Limits because I wanted to know what it's like to be the lead of a passenger train. I saw the British movie where the tank engine was essentially the hero leading the passenger train and I wanted to do the same. I worked out really hard to be able to pull a passenger train, or so I thought. Okay, that's it. Ben, I should have explained this to you the first time. These British engines have large drivers for these passenger trains. They were designed to handle pulling trains and switching. I know you spent weeks working to become faster and stronger, but it doesn't work because you were designed to handle switching operations only. That's why we don't put you on anything fast, that's why Annie doesn't pull drag freights, and that's why I don't pull excursions for the Burlington Northern. It's just not the way things work. Oh, okay. I get it, Frank. Trainmaster, if you don't mind, I'd rather go quiet for this rebuild. I prefer to think things through. Understood. And to think, we were about to debut your own P&O coaches in just a few weeks. Oh, really? I still feel bad. It was technically my fault. It's not your fault, but there has to be a way you can help. So what would you suggest doing then? Well, I'm wondering... Hey, are you Ben's engineer? Yes. How long will it take for Ben to be put back together? A few months. How about taking him apart? A few hours. Why? I think there's a way we can help him reach his goal after all. What the... Was I fixed already? Luxury cars? Joint line? Sentence fragments? Oh wow! I'm on the Sun One Limited! And there is no one to shove me! This is a dream come true! I can't believe it! I came back better than ever! He sounds happy. Well, that's good. Though, to be honest with you, I don't think I could spend another day detached like this. It's a rather out-of-boiler experience. Well, your efforts are appreciated, Craig. Ben may have screwed up, but I'm just glad we were all able to make his passenger train dream come true. And all we had to do was dismember him. <sighs> really? What? We are never speaking of this again. Now this is great enough for Rocky! This is the best run 